Good morning, we're live on the Trade Decorator Festival. Um, thanks for joining us. And today's session, um, we've got a masterclass for you on the Wonder Text Prem Fill and Finish Filler and Smoother um, by Gary Pierce and Alan Collins of Wonder Text. Following the demonstration, we will be joined live in a Q&A by Alan Collins, where you'll get the opportunity to put your questions to Alan. Um, first of all, before we go on to the masterclass, I just wanna show you around the platform for those of you new to us today. Um, to your right, you'll see the comments box. Feel free to say hi um, and comment on the, what you're seeing. If you could refrain from putting any questions in this part of the session, as we will be doing that in the Q&A when we go through to that part of the session. So um, we also have a giveaway for this um, session, which is everybody that's registered and attends and sees the video will get free samples of the um, Wonder Text Prem Fill and Finish Filler and Smoother, and we'll organize that for you following the event. Um, so without any further delay, here is the masterclass. Good morning, thanks for joining us. My name's Gary from the WonderTech sales team. We're here in our bespoke training facility in Tamworth to show you how our Prem Fill and Finish product works and all the versatile things it can do. Joined with me today is Alan Collins, our technical manager and site support guy. He's here to demonstrate the product and I hope you enjoy what you see. So before we begin, let me tell you a little bit about WonderTech. We've been manufacturing expert decorative solutions for 50 years now, and I've been part of it for 30 years myself. We produce it in our state-of-the-art UK manufacturing plant near Tamworth in Staffordshire. So going back to the fill and finish, it's available in two size bags, a 15 kg and a 7.5. It's suitable for all projects and it's very versatile. It's so easy to use, so easy to sand. There's minimal shrinkage, which will save you time and money on each project. And it's very cost effective, which you will notice when you get your receipt. So let's get on to the demo. To mix the prem fill and finish, Alan is using a spiral paddle mixer. However, if you're mixing a smaller quantity, you can easily mix by hand. Always use clean water. The suggested mixing ratio is one part water to 1.75 parts powder. That works out at four and a half liters of water to 7.5 kg of powder. Continue to stir until free from lumps Always leave to stand for five minutes and then mix up again. So this is the WonderTex Prem Fill and Finish mixed uh, to 4.5 litres of water to 7.5 kilos of the Prem Fill and Finish. This gives you a nice creamy paste ready for applying to the tapes. So Alan's applying the filler to the tape, obviously with the uh, ultimate aim of hiding it. Uh, if you do mix the product too thin, it 
it will run down the wall obviously um, and it will crack if you mix it uh, unevenly you sometimes get dry bits in the mix so make sure you mix thoroughly otherwise you will get dry residue from the bottom of the bucket so it's important that you use a bucket with a flat base as well so Alan's just covering the tape with the first coat and once he's covered that with an even mix then it's ready to dry and he will come back and do a second coat to completely lose the sight of the tape. So Alan's now applying a second coat to the joint he did earlier. This would have set and dried within a couple of hours, depending on conditions of the, the room he's working in. Once this has then set and dried, he will come back to it to sand down for finishing. The uh, one to Tex Prem Fill and Finish has a working time of 60 minutes and after one to two hours it should be touch dry and ready to sand. As you can see it's very easy to sand and requires little effort to create that seamless joint. Now that it's been sanded it's ready for a mist coat and then after the mist coat you'll do your final coats of paints. So Alan's now going to show the versatility of the product. He's uh, got some screw heads to cover, he's got some dents in the board to cover, it can also attach coving. It's very versatile product and obviously very cost effective as well. There you go, just attach, apply as much as you need. For our next part of the demonstration, we're going to show how to hide an external corner joint for that we would use the Wondertex Prem tape. Prem tape is such a great product. The best description I can give it is that it's angle bead on a roll. It's a space saving device as there's no long lengths of steel in the van. It's just a small box in the back of the van. There's no wastage as it's cut to length. It's very strong and robust. It's available in 30 meter rolls. It's very versatile and will do any angles. So Alan's going to cut the tape now. It's come through 30 meter rolls. And we cut it exactly to size so there's no wastage. He's using tin snips, which are the preferred way of cutting. So we're now going to go through how to hide the external corner joint. Alan's getting some Prem fill and finish to apply to each side of the joint. As you can see it glides down beautifully. This is to stick the tape to the corner. So Alan's now just finishing his first application of the Prem Fill and Finish. It won't matter if he puts too much on as this will all get squeezed out once the tape's fixed. So 
So Alan's now applying the prem tape to the external corner. This will give you a strong, robust edge to your wall. And now he's squeezing the excess material out of the product and he's working from the middle and up and down. This is so that the tape doesn't move whilst doing this. For this demo, Alan is using a wide blade knife. However, don't get bogged down with what tools to use. If you're more comfortable with a corker and a filling knife rather than trowels and knives, that's not a problem. Alan is now putting a second coat over the prem tape to level up the joint. Once this is set and is touched dry, it's ready for sanding and subsequent painting. As you can see, using the Prem tape and the Prem fill and finish, it's a really simple and easy way to create a seamless external joint. As before, after the product is set and touch dry, it's ready for the next stage of decorating. An important and sometimes overlooked use for the Prem Fill and Finish is the smoothing over of unwanted textured ceilings and walls. It's easy to apply, one coat for a light pattern such as a stipple, but a second and third wetter coat for thicker patterns such as broken leather or a deep comb pattern. If you follow our advice, you shouldn't have any problems using our products. However, if you do come across any issues, our site support team are there to talk through any difficulties you may have, and they will visit site if required. We love Prem Fill and Finish and we think you will too, but don't take our word for it. Here's what a couple of our customers have had to say about the product. Prem Fill and Finish is just one of the products we offer. Also available from Wondertex is a range of cost-effective and time-efficient solutions 
for decorative texturing and coving applications. You can find out more about the entire Wondertex range by visiting our website, wondertex.co.uk. Prem Fill and Finish is available from decorators and builders merchants up and down the country. To find your nearest stockist, please send us an email to wondertex at instarmac.co.uk. We hope you've enjoyed watching our demo today. If you would like to receive a free sample of the Prem Fill and Finish, please email us your details. And thanks for watching. Hello everyone, thank you for joining us for our live q and I've got Alan Collins here from Wonder Text. Good morning, Alan. Morning. Um, just before we um, take questions from everybody, um, I just wanna show you around um, Crowdcast in case you're not familiar with the um, site. So I can see you've found the comments box. I feel free to comment. Um, beneath myself and Alan, there is an ask a question tab. If you could hit that, if you've got a specific question you'd like to put to Alan, type in your question there and it would just help us to keep track of the session and we don't miss things in the comments. Um, if you want to ask the same question as somebody else, there's an opportunity for you to hit um, the vote button at the side of that question rather than just retype the question. Um, and um, we will come, come through to your questions. 
if you would like to come on screen and talk to Alan directly, if you could um, let us know in the comments box that you'd like to come up and I'll invite you up and you can talk to us here live on screen. Um, if not, I can put your question to Alan for you. So Alan, where, how do I find out where my nearest stockist is? Um, I mean, the, the easiest way for that is we, we have stockists up and down the country, um, basically from all the way from Cornwall all the way up into Scotland. But the easiest way to find out is actually just to give us a call. Either give us a call, send us an email, um, and we can basically then find out exactly where you are as a customer uh, and where our your nearest stockist will be from there. Okay, we've got a question from Sarah Smith. She's asking, what's the coverage? So I'm assuming she means the um, prem fill and finish. So the, what we've just watched the video on. So the coverage of that product is anywhere between sort of uh, 100 to 120 linear meters. Uh, that's for the 15 kilo bag. The seven and a half kilo bags, obviously half that. So it would be anywhere between 50 and 60 linear meters. Okay. And can I buy the product directly from you? Uh, we don't. Um, actually sell to the public as a general rule um it's all through stockists so it's the easiest way and it's also the cheapest way of getting the product okay um i've got another question here from andy he's asking what's the price like on both the prem fill and finish do you do any exterior filling products oh we've got a couple of questions so okay, what's the price so like first so the price point, you're looking at anywhere between about nine to, uh, and 15 pound a bag. So nine pound for the seven and a half kilo and 15 pound for the 15 kilo. Um, so, but it, it does depend on where you're getting it from and whereabouts you are. Um, but again, if people contact us, if they send us an email, or give us a call, we can tell them where the local stockists are. All right, perfect. And his other question was, do you do any exterior filling products? Um, through one of the techs, no, we don't. Um, obviously, we, we do have other sides of our business, but um, through one of the techs, no, all our one of the fillers and finishes are internal. Okay. Um, and what size bag does it come in? So it comes in a 7.5 kilo or it comes in a 15 kilo. Okay, um, I've got a question here from Mark Rigby. He says, hi, Alan, where do you stand on using power or mechanical sanders such as Merkers or Vestools? Um, he says, I find sometimes the vibrations can loosen the fillers. Um, we don't tend to find vibration loosens the filler. Um, I, I've, the only issues that I've seen with mechanical is that they just sand too much. So something like a metal angle tape on a corner, they're sanding away and literally they've just gone straight through the product down to the metal angle tape. Um, I always prefer, I always think hand sanding is the best option because you're not gonna put too much. If you do want to use a mechanical sander, that's not a problem at all. It will still, it will do the job. You just have to be a bit more careful with it. Okay, fantastic, Mark. Um, and what's the working time? So the working time of the product is about 60 minutes. Uh, so you've got about an hour's working time with the product. You're looking at around about a two to two and a half hour set time um, for you to be able to put your second coat on. Okay, I've got another question here from Sarah Smith. She said, do you sell the mixing buckets too? Yes, we do. And again, through a local stockist, you'll be able to get hold of those. Okay, fantastic. Um, and um, how long does the prem fill and finish take to dry? So again, it's, I mean, you're talking drying time is really dependent on a number of conditions. So you've got the temperature that you're actually applying it in, so the temperature of the house or the building, um, you've got humidity and things like that. As I said, it will be dry between two to four hours, dependent on the humidity, but also the thickness. Um, the thicker you go, if you put a product on quite thick, it can take longer to dry just because you've got to wait for that moisture to evaporate. Uh, but anywhere between sort of two to four hours is the standard time, um, and that should be sandable. Okay. And um, what, who are your um, stockists? Where can I buy it from? Um, again, most decorating stores sell it, builders, merchants, and things like that. But again, you 
the best option is just to give us a call and we can advise where people are coming from. Okay, perfect. And what's the sort of price point? What, how much would I be expected to pay? So for the um, 15 kilo bag, you're looking about around about 15 pounds. For the seven and a half kilo bag, you're looking at around about nine. Okay. Yeah. Um, and what about um, products that it's equivalent to? What would you compare it to? Um, there are a number of products out there on the market. It, it all depends. I mean, you've got things like the, um, the Jitbrock Easy Fill. Um, that's out there in the market. You've got Multi Fill by Canal. Um, there's, there's lots of products out there. It's, it's, it's all about, it's the general purpose. It will do most jobs. Um, it's a difference between having a separate fill and a separate finish. So you can get both products where one will be a fill and one will be a finish. But whereas with this product, it's the com combination of the two. It will do both jobs. Okay. I've got a question here from Rebecca. I'm just um, having a look. Rebecca, are you wanting to come up on screen and ask your question? No, maybe not. Okay. I'll read it out. Um, Claire... She says, Claire asked on the live session, um, morning, we have a lot of new builds on the books, some only a couple of years old. These have these types of corner tapes, but most have lifted quite quickly and need replacing. Is it likely it's just a cheaper product or is it just not being applied properly? I think maybe eight out of 10 properties have an issue. Um, I mean, that's, that, that's a difficult one. It's not necessarily product or application it's it's sort of it could be either um without looking actually at specific jobs and i mean that's something that i do in, in my day-to-day -day life is i go to site visits i have a look uh, i try and work out what has gone wrong if people are having difficulties um but there's a number of issues that you could be having there so for example you could have that the product isn't bonding to the tape you could have that the tape is actually warped. So if the tape's warped, it will be naturally trying to constantly pull itself away. Um, if it's been over sanded, I mean, we spoke about mechanical sanding. If it's been over sanded, there's nothing actually bedding that tape into the wall. Um, so th there's a number of reasons why it could be happening. Um, it, being able to just to give a, a blanket answer wouldn't work. That's where giving us a ring, getting myself to or one of my colleagues to come to site and actually have a look, we'd be able to give you a better answer. I hope that answers your question, Rebecca. Um, oh, I've got another question here from Brian Dennett. He's saying, can it be applied on painted surfaces like the Two Prey products? So with regards to painted surfaces, there's, there's, there's arguments for and arguments against. So it can, but the problem is you're only as good as the bond of the paint to the substrate. So we all know that paint, if if you've got product or if you've got a wall that's been badly prepped prior to painting or something like that, the paint can flake away from the wall. Um, but other than that, it, it can go over a painted surface, but it all just depends on how good or how well the paint is bonded to the surface. That we're like. Okay. Um, do we have any more questions? I think um, we, we may be coming to the end of the session, but if there's anything else you'd like to put to um, Alan before we finish, if you could let us know. Um, Alan, is there anything else you'd like to tell us about WonderTechs before we end the session? Um, I mean, a lot of it got covered in the video, but for me, WonderTechs is, it, it's, we're not, we're not the biggest, company out there so you've got companies like the british gypsums and the canals and things like that um but what we tend to find is we are a family-run business um we always have been and we always will be and our quality of our products stand out against everybody else's in my opinion um their value for money is exceptional and the products themselves they do exactly what they're supposed to. Uh, they work. We have strict um, quality controls here on site. So what we tend to find is people who do start using our product, they tend to stick with it. We don't get people switching after they've used it. So 
But other than that, no. And as you said already, if there are any questions, there are any queries or anything like that, by all means, email us at wondertext at instamac.co.uk. Okay. And um, with regards to those samples, if we get everybody to email you directly um, to send the samples out, everybody in the session, is that okay, Alan? Yeah. Not so it, the, do you want to just repeat that email address for me again and I'll type it in the comments here? Yeah, it's wondertext at instamac.co.uk. So it's wondertext at instamac, I-N-S-T-A-R-M-A-C, dot co.uk. Sarah's uh, beat me to it. <laughs> I was just hoping it did. That's fantastic. Um, thank you, everybody, for joining us. And um, thank you, Alan. It's been a great session, really informative. That's right. My pleasure. Thank you very much.